Are you tired of your computer looking like this? Do you want your computer to look like this? Yeah, but all those wires are really complicated. Yeah, well, that's why I'm here. Hi everybody and welcome to Pinky Tech. I'm Joe and I hope you enjoyed the intro, but seriously speaking, connecting RGB fans is one of the most common topics that I hear on forums and Discord servers, etc. that new PC builders have an issue with. So today I'm going to show you a couple different types of fans and how you can actually connect them into your system to get your system looking great. All right, so to start off, we have what I call SATA or Molex powered fans. Now these fans are typically only going to have one cable coming out and it's going to be a five or six pin, some kind of proprietary connector. Now these do not actually connect into your motherboard at all. They actually connect into a fan hub. And this one here is from up here, but they kind of all work the same. So what you would do is you would connect the fan header into the fan hub and then at that point you would connect the SATA power into the SATA power that's coming off of your power supply. Now these fans are typically the easiest to set up, however there are some drawbacks from them. Uh, for instance, since these are SATA powered and they're not PWM, that means these fans are going to spin as fast as they can at all times, which means you could get some more noise in your system than you could with a PWM fan. That being said, the plus side of them is that you don't have any clunky software to use with these fans. These fans are actually powered through a remote control or through a switch on your computer. Now you will find similar fans of these that are not SATA powered, but they are actually Molex powered. And there's a pretty easy to set up as well. You're just going to plug them into the Molex power connector on your power supply instead of the SATA power. All right, moving on, we have RGB or ARGB fans. Now these fans will hook up the same way, however, make sure that if you're using ARGB, which is a three pin five volt header, that you plug it into the ARGB header on your motherboard. And that if you're using a RGB connector, that is a four pin connector, 12 volt, and make sure that goes into the RGB header on your motherboard. Now RGB or ARGB fans are a little more complicated to set up because as you can see, there are two connectors actually coming off of them. Now one of these connectors is a three pin or four pin fan connector. Uh, and so typically with ARGB fans, you will see a four pin header on there uh, so that you can actually control the speed through PWM. Now the other cable coming off of this fan is a three pin five volt ARGB connector. Now setting up these fans is not that difficult. What you would do is you would just hook your PWM or your fan header into the fan header on your motherboard. And then on the ARGB side, you would actually take and connect the ARGB header into the ARGB port on your motherboard. Now, if you have multiple fans that you are connecting, sometimes you're gonna need a splitter. So this is actually a fan splitter. So you can plug this into one fan header on your motherboard and then connect all of your fans into here. Now there are also RGB or ARGB splitters that will do the same thing. You connect it into one port, you connect everything into there. In addition, a lot of the fans will actually have two connections on there, which will allow you to daisy chain. So you would actually plug this into your motherboard, but then also you would take this and you would plug it into the next fan in the chain and et cetera, et cetera, until you have everything connected. Now the cons of using RGB or ARGB fans is that there are a lot of cables that you're gonna have to tidy up and manage. In addition, Sometimes the cables don't always reach the next link in the chain, in which case you need additional splitters or something like that to bridge the connections. Now this next piece is the Pro Anacon, which is you can actually control all the lighting for these fans through your motherboard using the manufacturer's software. Now these softwares are notoriously clunky and have their own set of issues depending on which one you have to use. However, you can actually address each light inside of ARGB or set one setting on your motherboard to control every fan that's inside of it. So if you want full customization, I would go with ARGB fans. However, if you're looking for ease of use and simple setup, I would definitely go with the SATA or Molex powered fans. And guys, that's it. That's all there is to it. You've now got some bling added into your computer. So if you liked the video or if it was helpful, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, if you have more questions, check out the Discord server. We'll have an invite down in the description box below. As always, consider subscribing if this helped you out. If it didn't help you out, hit the dislike button, you know, whatever. Uh, leave a comment if you would. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.